and I am tasked to describe this batch of computers and graduates using one word. It would be dazzling. Dazzling, a word which means extremely bright or extremely impressive and beautiful. My courtesy to our school's division superintendent, Dr. Alma Abdullah Noor, to be represented by Dr. Annalyn Balesteros, to our MBHTE minister, Sir Mohagir Iqbal, to our barangay officials, headed by our barangay chairman, Sir Van de Leon Valiao, to our guest speaker, Engineer Abdul Kahar Usop. Dear parents, faculty and staff of Arm Regional Science High School. To our school head, Sir Bernardo Libertario Jr. Relatives, friends, and classmates. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu and a pleasant morning to all of us. When I was a kid, a lot of people asked me, Ano bang gusto mo paglaki mo? Sarah, ano bang pangarap mo? My answer will always be the same. I want to be someone who works in the field of medicine. Because if I were to be a doctor or a nurse, then I would always know what medicine I should give if someone in my family is sick. That is why, even though I live far from here, I still choose to study at Arm Regional Science High School because I know that RS has a very advanced curriculum and high academic standards. I want to be challenged. I told to myself, ah, dito na ako mag-aaral sa RS, so dapat marami akong kaibigan para marami akong genius na kakilala. I was really excited to start my junior high school journey. Pero wala eh. Pandemic hit. And despite that, I still tried my best to answer my modules and attend my online classes. I still made friends, although only a few. Then came face-to-face -face classes. I was eager to meet my classmates and to finally experience the high school life that I've always wanted to experience. But at the same time, I was nervous. Nasa sobrang kaba, kahit one week pa bago ang pasokan, nakaredy na lahat ng gamit ko, sapatos ko, medyas ko, at lahat ng dadalhin ko sa school. But there were so many what-ifs in my head. What if lahat sila matalino tapos ako lang hindi? What if di nila ako kaibiganin? What if hindi ko pala kayang mag-aral dito? And the most asked question, What if bumagsak ako sa research? All of my what-ifs were finally erased when the classes started. At first, our classroom was silent. We were very much shy towards each other. But as time passed by, we slowly started bonding. And as expected, RS has one of the most amazing and intelligent teachers. I am not wrong for choosing this school because after four years of studying here, I can really tell that this school offers quality education and has excellent academic standards. All 
of the teachers are very friendly and humble. So I know I'm in great hands. However, this educational journey was not without its challenges. I faced moments of self-doubt, academic setbacks, and social pressures. And yet, it was during these times that I learned the value of patience, hard work, and the importance of seeking support from friends, teachers, and families. These challenges, though daunting at the time, ultimately served as valuable lessons that have shaped my character and prepared me for the road ahead. As I stand here today, I am filled with mix of sadness and excitement for the unknown future that awaits. The transition to the next phase of life whether it be a higher form of education, the workforce, or other endeavors, is both intimidating and elevating. But I am confident that the strong foundation laid by my school experience has equipped me with the skills, knowledge, and resilience necessary to conquer the challenges that lie ahead. First, I want to take Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah and sukran for everything that you have blessed me with. Thank you, Ya Allah, for keeping me, my family, and my Muslim brothers and sisters safe throughout this school year. My success are only those you approve. To my family, Abe, Umi, Mami, and Ama, thank you for your unwavering support. You guys are the reason why I never gave up on life. Your sacrifices made all of my struggles and pain worth it for me to achieve this milestone. I want to extend my heartfelt appreciation and thanks to all of our school teachers and pre-service teachers who have made a lasting impact in my life. Their guidance and encouragement have been a source of strength and inspiration during moments of confusion and self-doubt whether providing extra help after class or offering words of encouragement before a challenging exam, these educators have gone above and beyond to support my academic and personal growth. In like manner, I want to express my deepest gratitude to our school, our regional science high school, for the resources and opportunities it has offered me. From journalism to public speaking competitions, RS has great effort in providing its students with the tools and support needed to excel. The numerous academic, artistic, and extracurricular activities offered by the school have not only enriched my educational experience, but also allowed me to discover my passions and interests. Lastly, to my classmates, friends, and acquaintances, thank you for always being there and supporting me. Thank you for all the times you have made me laugh. Thank you for the moments and times we have spent together. To my advisor, Sir Shride, thank you for believing in me and trusting me despite my shortcomings. And to our section, Phoenix Peeps, finally guys, 
after all the sleepless nights, the stress, the research, and surprise quizzes, we did it. We made it all together. Thank you, Dazzling Phoenix, for trusting me to be your president, even if I'm the loudest and noisiest among us. Thank you for believing that I have the ability to lead. I may not be the best class president, but I hope you remember me as someone who did her best to support and manage our class. Some of us may leave, but our bond and love for each other as family will always stay. Thus, education is a powerful weapon against this challenging life. As we move forward into the future with optimism and gratitude, let us carry with us the lessons learned and the friendship made. Knowing that the foundation laid during our school years will continue to guide and inspire us in the years to come. Before I end this speech, I want to leave everyone a quotation from one of my favorite authors, John Ox. Fall seven times, stand up eight. Whatever path you may take, always remember to never give up and to always fight for yourself and for your dreams. Good luck on our future endeavors until, until we meet again. Keep soaring high, our Asians. Thank you, and may Allah, God, bless us all.